WC stack. So guys, in today's example, I will teach you how you can use the for each loop into your lightning web component. So guys, today we will have our data of students and using the for each loop, we will display the data inside the table into our lightning web component. Okay. So guys, let's start today's example and let's start uh, by creating a new component. So as usual, we'll press command shift P and we will use create lightning web component and let's name it. Mm, let's give it a name use for each loop okay we'll keep it in the default directory so as always guys i will just copy the meta elements first okay and here's the meta of this file okay let's save it and then we'll copy the template from an existing component because i don't want to waste the time and you know just to design everything same again so let's have the template here so let's change the title how to use for each loop in LWC. Okay, looks good. Let's remove this div and let's create a table instead. Okay. Let's create a container also about the table or div. And let's have the padding again. Now in this table component guys, so we will bind a student array and in that student array we can have a student name, we can have a student class and we can we can have the fees also of that particular class, okay. So let's create the, but there should be different, different rows and the rows should be coming from the uh, array part, okay. So we'll create a for each loop here and under that loop we will have the data okay so let's create a template here okay for each so this is the default template for for each now for each of the student uh, how we will complete it for if we display a separate table for each student no or else we can create the headings first and underneath that we can have the data that that will be better okay so let's create Let's create a row here and let's have a student name. So these will be table headings. You can also have th for that. This will also work okay. But for default, I'm just using the td. Student name and class. And we'll have P here. Okay. Now for every student, we will create a row. So we'll create another DR here. Missing key for element here instead of iteration. Element within iteration must have a unique key okay so as a key guys we can have let's say stu.id here okay mm, 
now let's have a student name here so we'll type stu.name okay let me just copy and paste it stu.class and stu.fee okay now it will create a separate row for each student okay let's save it and now let's move to the javascript part guys okay so in javascript part we will define a array first so the array name is students and let's create the syntax of this array okay let me just have it in the next line so the syntax will be easy to understand okay now guys we will have three parameters here so the first one will be the id of the students so let's have the id sorry for the background noise guys this whole room is not soundproof so let's have the id 001 here and name let's have student one for class we'll have the value class one here okay so now we'll add the next string in the list so let me just copy and paste the data from here all right guys so we are having 10 students here so the id should be unique for everyone so let me just change the id here as well so it should be two This will be six. And this will be ten. All right, so we are having data of 10 strings here. Now let's quickly save it and deploy this component to the org, okay? So let's click on deploy source to org. Okay, it is deployed. Let's go back to the page, hit edit page. okay now we will add the component here so the component name was user for each loop let's have it here so as you can see guys the output of this component we will have some styling in this table also So this is the default table guys but as you can see we are not getting the values here we are just having stu.name i think we have missed missed the binding of the variables here oh in javascript guys for these kind of silly mistake there is no space for error you cannot just debug it okay so it is saved now let me just deploy it one more time okay deploy source to arc so we are having the data here to names class and fee we are not having why we are not having fee here 
did we miss it in the JavaScript part also? Oh, so let's have fee. Let's keep fee same for all the students. It is one thousand dollars. Okay. So let's just copy and paste it for all the students. So now we are having fee for all the students here. So we are having same fee for all the students. Okay guys, now we will do a little bit of styling of that table. We can simply use the HTML side, like we can put a border for the table or we can use the styling from the lightning design system guys okay so you can search for the design you want let's say if i need a table here so here it is displaying the lightning data table let's just check it out once so this is displaying an example of the lightning data table but we don't need the lightning data table we are using the html table so for that guys there is another website which is lightningdesignsystem.com so you can just directly go to lightningdesignsystem.com and here you can search for tables. It will display everything in the pure HTML guys. You can use these uh, classes wherever you want in uh, Salesforce, whether you are designing a visual force page with lightning design system enabled in it or whether you are designing a separate component for it. So guys, here we will be having uh, this column dividers it, it will look good there so this is the class for the column guys so we will just copy this class okay so we are having class for the table here and we have to put it on the tr and Okay, let's have T head also. So this is the table head. Or instead of this T head, you can also use TH uh, instead of these TG tag. Okay. Now in TR, we have to use this SLDS line height reset. Okay, so we will use it in the TR. We are having two rows here so we'll use it in this and this one let's save it and deploy it again okay let's say deploy source to arc it is deployed now and let's refresh the page and check the output all right guys so as you can see the css has been applied to this um, but we are not still having the proper css here i think i may have missed some css from that object seems like we have missed uh, something here in this class itself or maybe in this tr part or might be we need to implement the uh, the classes in the in this SLDS truncate class in the dev tag also. So guys, uh, basically this was a basic example how you can use the for loop inside the uh, inside the lightning web component. Okay, and uh, there's a different class for the TD which contains data. So let me just change that class also. That will give us a better look of the output okay let's save it and deploy it one more time so it is deployed now let's go back and check the output
it's still still same i mean we can see the font font has been changed here but still we are having the same output so we will try to work on it on the next example guys i don't want to create this video a little long so let's give normal border here uh, border is equal to one just to give the table uh, look of us actual column and rows table okay deploy source to org one last time and it is done all right so guys that's how you can use the for each loop into your lightning web component and guys i will be having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforcebold.com so you can just directly go to my blog And in my blog, I, I will be having a tab here. The tab name will be LWC stack in which I will be having all these examples one by one there. So you can just directly go there and complete, uh, get the complete code from there and don't, and don't feel hesitate to modify the code and let me know if you have any error, okay? So guys, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.